Hi YouTube! This is going to be a little flip through of my travel journal from last year, summer 2017. Um, and I'm trying holding the phone instead of using a tripod so I can get a little more distance so hopefully this won't be too shaky. Um, but this is the journal that I use. It's a Leuchtturm. Uh, so kind of the usual bullet journal. Um, one thing that I learned about travel journaling, okay, this side's not so bad, but this side, you can see I actually had to rip out a ton of pages in the back to make it close. <laughs> so I'm not sure I'm going to be able to use this journal for future trips, which I kind of want to. Um, but yeah, I might have to consider like spiral, spiral notebooks or something. Um, next time I want to put a lot of ephemera in a journal. Um, so yeah, this is kind of a bad joke. Uh, my dad's name is Bill, so I like Bill and Ted's. Um, then I have not filled out the index. Uh, this is another bad Blues Brothers joke. Avery's still on Pacific time. So we, um, we started our trip right after I had a work trip to Seattle. And so I literally like, threw ho flew home, did laundry, and then immediately went to Europe. Uh, this is just a packing list as well as some stuff that I wanted to buy there, which I found useful to write down. Um, budget, I did not fill out emergency contacts, so oops. Um, I really like this page. So this is a, a two-page spread um, that I did of our calendar. So you can see I put the little flags over here, um, use some washi, uh, tried to just put in what we were doing on each day, writing in the language of where we were. And then uh, down here we have the specific flight details. So I use this journal like as a practical thing as well as um, for memories. Little map and then for the hotels, it was really useful to actually have a little chart of the um, time. So the time we could check in, the time we could check out. Does it have a laundry? Does it have breakfast? And is there a fridge? Um, so this was kind of helpful to know as a reference while we were traveling. I didn't like the mind map that much. I was trying to think of ideas. It was mostly places to eat. But then, uh, so day by day, I did a kind of daily spread. This is not something I would do in my regular bullet journal, but um, I really like this as a way to remember my trip. Um, so I put a lot of different kinds of things in here. You know, each day I had kind of a journal, keeping track of the um, money I spent so that I could total that up at the end. Um, a lot of times <laughs> you might notice that I'm kind of writing in franglais or like a mix of languages. So super stressful, correspondance à stratégie. Um, which was true. That was a horrific, um, we made the flight, but it was a horrific running through, um, Charles de Gaulle airport experience. Um, you know, little funny things that happened. This cracks me up. Auteur français, mais je ne vends que comic book ici. So I learned that a comic book shop in France means like Marvel and DC in translation. It does not mean like bande dessinée, the, the, um, strips, like it would not be a French um, graphic novel, which was very disappointing because I thought I was going to be able to get French graphic novels. But anyway, um, so with receipts, I tried to like cut out names of places. This was the flight and the menu on the flight. So lots of like tickets and things are stamped in here. I tried to draw where I could, although my drawing probably leaves something to be desired. A lot of these tip in so I love this tip in thing where you put the washi tape and then you can have multiple things. Um, I had a running record of dad jokes, which was super fun. Um, and the stickers I actually didn't take with me. That would have been a pain. So I stuck them at the end where there was blank space. I also tried to write in like little facts and things that I learned on the trip. Um, so archaeological evidence suggests that Homo erectus hunted in Nice area 400,000 years ago. Fun facts. Um, a lot of these like fold out maps in here more attempting to draw. I, a lot of times I do like layers of tip-ins like this. So I could kind of get a bunch of different stuff on the page, especially on days where we were going a lot of places. Had lots of like train tickets and tram tickets and things like that. Uh, for the longer stays, I tried to do like a general sort of impressions um, summary. 
Oh, and on each day, I didn't really show this, but I tried to do a cute little icon. Again, I'm not the best artist, but I tried to do something fun. So like this is Pisa and Firenze. So I tried to do like a leaning tower there um, to write the date and the place. So I also tried to write little like highlights and stories. One thing about this particular trip is that um, my dad's getting older, which is sad. Um, and so I really like to try to record memories and stories that he tells and like interesting things. And I noticed that on this trip, he just kept like referencing things like his, what he learned in architecture school about Florence like 30 years ago. And so it was just really fun to hear um, all those kind of stories. This is something else I would do with the postcards. I try to get a postcard in every location and then I realized I could start sticking stickers on the back so it's not just a blank postcard. So more from Italy here. Put little things like this is a sticker from the Murano glass that I bought. I tried to remember to write down shops and restaurants in case I come back. There are still some little blank bits that I may one day fill in, although I kind of doubt it. Um, and then little sketches to remind me of things, like this was on the ferry in Greece. Um, I was just very impressed by the crew, like they bring down the ramp um, as you're pulling in and they just run up the top and then bring it down and it looks very fun. Very dangerous and very fun. So more just little bits, again, putting stickers or trying to put like uh, pieces of ephemera on the backs of other pieces when there's a lot of it, I learned was a good idea. So these are from Greece, from Syros. You can see that the um, Amopoli, the locations are written in Greek. I did, I learned enough Greek to get by and enough Italian to get by for this trip. I wouldn't say that I was in any way fluent or even conversational, but enough for travel, basically. So sort of more of the same. You can see that the tippins keep being at the bottom, which is why it's thicker. So if I do try to use this again, then I will probably attempt to um, put more tippins towards the top of the journal. Oh, this was exciting. The um, a server gave me the secret of how to make a certain dessert. That I was super excited about. So this is the very end. Athens was the end of our trip. And just finally um, ended it up with a little highlights page. So I asked my dad um, for his favorites of each of these things. Um, I think maybe even on the plane or on the last day. And then I filled it in for myself. So yeah, that's my travel journal.